What's up guys, this is Coop back again from GarageRumReviews.com and the review I have for you today is one of the coolest squat racks that I've gotten to use, I've gotten to test, review. It's made for a home gym that doesn't have a lot of space, designed for something where you want to, you know, a nice squat rack that's going to take as much weight as you can throw on it, be able to do pull-ups, those sorts of things, but really only take four inches of space off the wall and that is the PRX performance squat rack profile rack now there's more options than ever for squat racks you have everything from your just traditional you know like Rogue R3, Titan T3 to your monster racks um, to your just squat stands and now there's kind of like there's been this category that hasn't really ever been around and that is like these squat racks that are foldable that you know stow away that don't take up a lot of space now Rogue creates a fold away rack you've probably seen it, it goes against a wall and then it folds away and then folds back the issue with those racks is not that they're not sturdy not that they don't take up a lot of space but the issue is getting it out and using it and a piece of equipment, you know, you want to be able to get in the gym, use it, and get out. And that's one of the reasons that I'm not a big fan of those fold-away racks is because in order to actually use it, you've got to fold the arms out after taking hitch pins out. You've got to put the hitch pins back in. You have to put the J-hooks on, any spotter arms that you want to use, and then you have to put the pull-up bar on, which oftentimes you have to get up on a ladder, put the pull-up bar on, things like that. The PRX Performance Rack answers that with a rebuttal that's really the best I've seen and that is very simply you pull it down if you want to use it and when you're done you put it back up it's that simple so something like the PRX performance rack is perfect for people that don't have a lot of space or do have a lot of space they just don't want to take up a lot of space but they want a solid squat rack and this thing is rated for a thousand plus pounds I mean the J hooks on this thing are out of this world in fact they're some of the best J hooks I've seen not just in how thick the steel is but also in the UHMW I believe it is plastic that they use not only on the top the back but also on the outside of the um, actual J cup that rests against the power rack okay most racks you don't see that now the rack I'm reviewing is actually the pro profile rack and the difference between this one and the I guess less expensive one is this one is a 3x3 11 gauge steel the profile rack uses 2x3 11 gauge steel it also has bigger holes for attachments and laser cut numbers so you can figure out your hole spacing the thing is though you're not buying this rack because it's you know solid the reason you're buying it is because it goes up and down and stows away and that's the best feature it's a great rack but it wouldn't be worth purchasing for the price they have it if it was just a good rack the reason you purchase it is because this is the best portable stowaway you know kind of like hidden squat rack there is it's way better than the fold away systems it's way better than squat stands I'm telling you it's it's a little expensive it's a little pricey but if you want something that folds up and out of the way and you don't have to worry about it, I mean, you can park a car easily, then this is the rack you want to get. Just to show you just how easy it is, I'm just going to take it down, put a bar on it, and squat, and just show you how easy it is to use. Thanks to the gas shocks that are on either side, so they have four 100 pound gas shocks, one at the bottom, or two at the bottoms, and then two at the top. They assist in the movement. So this isn't like you're just picking all this weight up on your own. It's really assisted. So once you get it like about a quarter of the way, it basically goes up on its own. And then when you come down, it basically free falls in a, you know, like a really, I don't know, easy manner. It doesn't just drop, you know, it, it has a good look to it. Now, one of the reasons I really like this one versus just the squat rack, because they have them without the pull-up bar, is because this one has a kipping pull-up bar. So what that means is you can do traditional CrossFit type movements, kipping pull-ups, kipping muscle-ups, kipping chest-to-bar pull-ups, all those different things, toes-to-bar, you name it, you can do it on the bar, and it doesn't shake, you know, too much, okay? There's really no, like, forward and back shake. There's only a little bit of side-to-side -side sway, but 
all the movements that we do in CrossFit are just forward and back anyway, so it's not like anything that is really faces a problem. It also has a lower pull-up bar if you want to do like strict pull-ups or jumping pull-ups for somebody. Just to give you an example real quick. Now, in addition to the squat rack, they also sell a bench. It's called the folding bench. I'm a fan of it. I really am. I think the idea is awesome. It's a little expensive. It's around $400. In the top, it's really the same top as say you would find on the Rep Fitness flat bench. So it's a decent top. It's an imported top, you know, cheaper vinyl leather, cheaper foam, not like what you would find with a Rogue bench. But the design of it is outstanding, okay? Because no longer do you have to have this bench that takes up a lot of space. It folds up to the wall the same distance as the squat rack does, maybe a little bit further out. And then when you want to use it, you just fold it out and you're good to go. And then up. It's an awesome design. I do wish they'd lower the price a little bit, and I do wish they'd use a better top if they do keep the price the way it is. But overall, I love the design of it. That said, the squat rack, in my opinion, is really, you know, their premier product, okay? The squat rack is awesome. The bench is a great accessory, but if I was just gonna get one, I'd obviously get the squat rack. Now, whenever I do these reviews, I always come up with like some suggested improvements, things that I think the company could do better with the product. And I really can't come up with much for this one. I think they could use maybe a little bit heavier shocks to assist a little bit more, although it's really not needed. It's really solid side to side. I was assuming that it would be, have a lot more play and it doesn't. Really, the only thing I can think of is bringing the price down because it's, I think it's around $1,100, which is a little bit pricey for a squat rack. That said, this is one of those things where I think you buy it once, you're never gonna have to use it. But it's a really quality product. You know, if you want something that doesn't take up a lot of space, and you want something that you're actually gonna use, then this is a squat rack for you. I don't really see any other options. Okay, but this has been Coop with GarageGymReviews.com. Let me know what review you wanna see next. Give me a like, a share, comment. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Peace.